So, Christmas is coming in a few weeks and you still haven't thought of what to buy for your loved ones. Huh? Come, let me save your irresponsible last minute no planning adult asses some time and recommend you the best gifts money can buy. Allow me to introduce ROG's latest gaming peripherals. Huh? Your girlfriend or boyfriend not gamer? Ah? Then you teach them how to play. Lah. Some more now CMCO cannot go out, you better find a new hobby to do at home. If not, later 9 months down the road got baby come out. How leh? Now, let us begin. This is the ROG Chakram. If you're cold and you don't have a hand to hold, the ROG Chakram is here for you. If you're a fussy person, then the Chakram's hot swappable switches should keep you happy. With the included toolkit, you can swap out the Omron switches at any time for a different kind of feel. You want fast and responsive? Can! You want solid and clicky? Also got! And if you cholo and happen to break both, just order new ones online and you won't have to throw away your entire mouse. And if your fingers itchy need something to mm, mm, the ROG Chakran comes with a built-in joystick. If you want full analog joystick movement, it works with Steam. Otherwise, you can still program the four directions to four different macros or four same ones like me because I'm too lazy to spam left click to whack monsters lah. As you might have noticed due to the lack of wires, this is a wireless mouse. It can connect via both Bluetooth and the 2.4GHz wireless dongle. If you want the lowest latency possible, then use the dongle. If you want more battery life and wider compatibility, then Bluetooth is the way to go. And yeah, of course it also supports wired mode. Plug it in for 15 minutes, then you can play for up to 12 hours. As for how long it can last on a full battery, the Chakram will last 79 hours on 2.4GHz wireless mode with the RGB turned off, which is still longer than Britney's first marriage. Now, on to the next product, the ROG Delta S. Not Delta S, ho. This is a lightweight wired headset with D-shaped cups. Not D-size, ah. If things are getting hot and heavy, you can always swap out the leatherette ear pads to the spare fabric mesh ones provided in the box. All the controls are located on one side in case you only have one hand free and the detachable mic also features AI noise cancelling in case you don't want your teammates in game to hear your poor partner doing all the housework while you are slacking off and playing games while the dishes are piling up in the sink. And it also has the new sound wave lighting mode which makes the headset light up when it hears your voice unlike your poor partner who now hates you and is probably thinking of breaking up unless you buy them a really nice gift for Christmas like this headset! Ah, we haven't even talked about the best feature yet. It's built-in MQA technology. What is MQA, you may ask? It's not my queer ass, in case you're wondering. It stands for Master Quality Authenticated, which means that you can listen to music at the same quality it was recorded at in the studio. However, you'll need a subscription to music services like Tidal, which support MQA audio to enjoy the full experience. So, remember to add that to your shopping list. Next, the Strix Scope RX. If you're looking for something to bang, this is it. Not only is it attractive, it can take a good beating too, thanks to its sturdy metal build and super stable keycaps. But we're getting ahead of ourselves here. Let's talk about the main feature of the Strix Scope RX, which is its optical mechanical switches. It features ROG RX red switches, which were debuted by ROG earlier this year. If you're unfamiliar with optical mechanical switches, let me explain to you how it works. Traditional mechanical switches on other keyboards use physical contact points to detect an input, while optical mechanical switches use an infrared beam of light. This results in less debounce delay and faster actuation, so you can get an advantage over your opponents who are still using older technology. But if you suck at games to start with, then I think light speed response also can't help you win lah. However, you can probably make use of the extra large control key. No, it doesn't give you more control in your games, but if you cow pay cow boo want to spam teabag your opponents to assert dominance, then it's harder to press the wrong button lah. And also, it has the stealth key, or what I like to call the shroud key since it looks like shroud's logo. If you're doing dodgy stuff like watching stuff you shouldn't be watching in public, then you can press this button and it will instantly minimize all your windows and mute your PC as well. So how? Which one do you think your girlfriend or boyfriend would like more? Huh? You single lah? Then good lah, you have more money to buy all of this for yourself. If you want to know more, you can check out the links in the description below. This is Stephanie from Salty News Network, signing off.